Hello friends, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we are going to see about how to create swap partition on CentOS 7. One of the easiest ways to make your server more responsive and guard against out of memory errors in your application is to add some swap space. Swap is an area on storage drive when the operating system can temporarily store data that it can no longer hold in memory. The ability to increase the amount of information that your server can keep in its working memory with some clavets. Reading from and writing to swap is slower than using memory, but it can provide a good safety net for when your server is low on memory. Without swap, a server that runs out of memory may start killing application to free up memory or even crash. This can cause you to lose unsaved data or experience downtime. To ensure reliable data access, some application require swap to function. In this guide, we will cover how to create and enable a swap file on CentOS 7 server. Now, we see the command to check the system for swap information. The command is swap on space iPhone S. With the iPhone S flag, swap on will display a summary of swap usage and availability on our storage device. Now, enter. Here the swap partition is slash dev slash sda2. The another way for checking for swap space with the free utility. The command is free space iphon m. Now enter to view. Next we can create additional swap partition by the command. The command is next we can create the additional swap partition. Before we do this we should be aware of our current drive usage. We can get this information by typing the command. The command is df space iphon h. Now enter to view the drive usage. The next command to create a partition for swap space. The command is fdisk space slash dev slash sda. This command is used to start fdisk. Now enter. Type n to create new partition. Now select the partition type. Here the default one is extended. Press enter to select default partition. Press enter to select default first sector value. Then press enter to select full space. After creating the extended partition, then we need to create the swap partition by using the n. Now type n and enter to create a new partition. Select the default value. Press enter. Now select the lost sector value. Here I am going to select plus 100 capital M. Here the value is 100 MB. Now enter to select the lost sector value. After creating the partition then we need to list out it by typing P to list. Here the newly created partition is slash dev slash sda5. Next, I need to change the file type of partition. Before changing the file type, I need to type l command to list out. l, now enter. Now we see the file types. Here the swap partition is 82. Now type t to change the file type of partition. Now enter. Now enter the partition number. Here the partition number is 5. Now enter. Now enter the hexadecimal code for type of partition. Here 82 is the swap partition. Now enter. Here the partition type is changed from Linux to Linux swap. Next we need to see the partitions by typing P. Now we see the SDF5 partition is Linux swap. Now save it with W command. W now enter. After saving it, then we need to reboot it by typing the command reboot or part probe space slash dev slash sda. This part probe command is used to restart your system without using the reboot command. Now enter. Next, 
we need to format swap partition by using the mk swap command the command is mk swap space slash dev slash sta5 now enter the next command is to activate the swap by using the swap on command the command is swap on space slash dev slash sda5 now enter if the new swap volume is recognized you would see it in the slash pro slash swaps file the command is cat space slash proc slash swaps now enter here the swap partitions are sta2 sta5 to make it available after reboot then open the vim slash etc slash fs tab now enter to open the file press i to insert then add the line at the end of the file slash dev slash sda5 space swap swap defaults here the value is 0 0 now save and exit from the file the next command to check it restart the system the command is reboot space iphone f now enter Now open the terminal. After rebooting the system, then verify that our swap is on and working properly or not. The command is cat space slash pro c slash swaps. Now enter. As output show, our swap volume is mounted and working properly. Now we see the another method, use a file for additional swap space. If you don't have any additional disk, you can create a file somewhere on your file system and use that file for swap space. Now we see the command. The command is dd space if equal to slash dev slash zero space of equal to slash root slash my swap space bs equal to 1 capital m space count equal to 1024 this dd command examples create a swap file with the name of my swap under the slash root directory with a size of 1024 mb now enter to create the next command is to list out the permission for created file the command is ls space iphone l space slash root slash my swap now enter the next command is to change the permission of the swap file so that only root can access it the command is change mode space 600 space slash root slash my swap now enter to change the permission then list out it the next command is to make this file as a swap file using mk swap command. The command is mk swap space slash root slash my swap. Now enter. The next command is to enable the newly created swap file. The command is swap on space slash root slash my swap. Now enter. After enable the newly created swap file, then to make the swap file available as a swap area even after the reboot. Now we can add the swap file entry in the fstep file. The command is vim space slash etc slash fstep. Now enter to open the file. Press i to insert. Now add the entry at the end of the file slash root slash my swap 
space swap space swap space defaults space zero space zero after adding the entry then we need to save and exit from the file next to verify whether the newly created swap area is available for your use or not the command is swap on space hyphen s now enter now we see the newly created swap file is available here the next command to check the space the next command to check the space for swap by using the free utility the command is free space hyphen m now enter here the total space for swap is 3123 and used is 5 then the free space is 3118 here m represent the mb these are the steps to create a additional swap space in centos thank you